The Dell XPS 13 has been one of the best productivity focused premium laptops in the market and this latest iteration is the best one yet. This is the brand new Dell XPS 13 and this is our hands-on of this laptop. Compared to its predecessor, the biggest difference the new XPS 13 brings is a new webcam position, believe it or not. It really has been one of the main issues with this laptop and it's finally at the top of the display. In order to fit a camera module into such a tiny bezel, Dell had to get creative. So they made its own 2.25mm camera module just for this one purpose. It's crazy how much work goes into what seems like a tiny detail on a laptop. It was one of the first laptops to eliminate screen bezels and it still looks really nice now. Although there is a bit of a chin at the bottom of the screen and if other manufacturers such as ASUS with the Zenbook 13 can outright throw out the bezels, I don't see why Dell can't do the same. Nonetheless, moving aside from the display, I do like the carbon fiber finish on the palm rest area. It looks and feels very unique and it gives it a unique differentiator compared to other laptops in the market. Another one of the XPS 13 strong suit is its sheer portability. Measuring only 11.6mm at its thickest point, this is easily one of the slimmest laptops you can find in the market now. On top of that, it's also relatively light, tipping the scales at 1.23kg. But the thin profile of the laptop does have its weaknesses. For one, you don't get any full-size USB ports with this laptop. You have to rely only on three USB-C ports and that can be a real trouble. I mean, USB-C accessories are a lot easier to find now, but chances are you would still have to live with dongles with this laptop. And it's also worth noting that this laptop has a micro SD card slot, so you can easily expand the storage if you want to. In the performance department, you can configure the XPS 13 in Malaysia with two processors, an 8th generation Core i5 or Core i7 chip. The model I have here is the Core i7 variant and it is blazing fast. If you're using this laptop for general productivity tasks, you really wouldn't be disappointed. If you plan to do any sort of gaming on this laptop, you may want to look elsewhere. You see, it only comes with an integrated UHD Graphics 620 GPU, so you wouldn't be able to do much gaming on this machine. It can run less demanding games like Dota 2 relatively well, but if you plan to play games like Apex Legends or PUBG on this laptop, you wouldn't have a really good time. While it may not be ideal for gaming, you will definitely enjoy the XPS 13's display. This top of the line model comes with a 13.3 inch 4K touch display and it looks fantastic. Everything looks razor sharp, it's impossible to see individual pixels, colors are great, and viewing angles are fantastic too. Some folks will question the practicality of having a 4K resolution on a display this small, but I do agree it's a bit of an overkill, but it's a really really nice display. Besides, if you really want better battery life, you can always opt for the 1080p panel, but you won't get a touchscreen option with that one. And then we have two very important hardware for a productivity laptop, which are the keyboard and trackpad. Generally, typing on the XPS 13 is a pleasant affair. It has a decent amount of travel, good tactility, and a standard layout. However, on this particular unit, some of the keys do squeak, so I'm not sure if it's just limited to this unit, but it's a little bit annoying for a premium laptop like the XPS 13. As for the trackpad, it's really quite good. It can track my fingers very accurately, it feels big enough to not feel cumbersome to use, and I love just how smooth the trackpad is. Overall, the Dell XPS 13 is a refined, handsome looking premium productivity laptop with a price to match. The base model, which comes with a 1080p display, a Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB of storage, retails at 5,709 ringgit. If you want the highest end model here with a 4K display, a Core i7 processor packed with 16 gigs of RAM and 512GB of storage, that will set you back a whopping 8,369 ringgit. So without a doubt, the XPS 13 is not an affordable laptop and you can easily get a laptop with a similar configuration for less. But hey, it is a premium product and the XPS line has never been particularly affordable anyway. For what it's worth, I'm really impressed with the XPS 13's feature set and I'm confident I will enjoy putting it through its paces in a full review. It may not have an attractive price tag, but it sure is an attractive looking premium laptop. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and as always, stay tuned for more good stuff to come at NextRiff and NextRiff.com.